There are all sorts of ways we can handle errors, but I like to have some idea of what my go-to approach will be for simple cases before I start reaching for libraries and things like that. So the critical aspect for me is that it must be reactive and declarative. My default approach for this pre-signals is something like this. We have two streams, a stream of the value we are interested in, and a stream of any errors that occur in relation to our value stream. Like if the HTTP request to load the data fails, for example. And then we can consume those streams with the async pipe in the template like this. I have a whole video on this, so I'll link to that in the description if you're interested in this approach specifically. But what I want to talk about in this video is what this approach or something similar might look like in a signals world. So I played around with this for a bit, but what I landed on was this. I am currently imagining that as signals are released, I will likely rely more on RxJS to keep things declarative higher up in my application's reactive graph. And as we get closer to the bottom of this reactive graph, I would switch to signals to actually have components consume the values. What I think this will generally look like is services that contain RxJS streams and then provide the results of those streams as signals. In a lot of cases, I think RxJS will essentially become the private implementation details when necessary and signals will be the public interface of services. But this brings up the problem of error handling. At least with the current implementation of signals, what will happen is that if we use to signal on an observable stream and that stream errors, then our signal will throw an error. This basically gives us the option of handling the error on either side of this interoperability bridge. We could handle errors within the RxJS stream so that the signal never throws an error, or we could let the signal throw an error and handle it with a try catch, for example. So after hacking away for a bit, I decided on this. It is very similar to the original error stream approach we just briefly looked at. So make sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to explain the concept in detail first, but I also published a package that will turn all of this into a simple one-liner that you can use. What I'm doing here is using toSignal to create this data notification signal. This will subscribe to the observable stream that is fetching the data. What I'm doing here though is making sure this stream never actually errors because I don't want to have to handle the error with try catch on the signal side. Instead, I map the result to an object that contains a value property and an error property. If the request succeeds, the value property will be set and the error will be undefined. But if there is an error, I am catching the error so that it won't cause the signal to throw an error. Then I replace the error with a stream that will emit with the value undefined and the error defined. So from this, I can then create new signals that essentially serve the same role as the value and error stream from the initial example. Data error here will be a signal that has a value of either undefined if there is no error or the error if there is one. And data will be a signal that has a value of either undefined if there is no value yet or the value if it has loaded successfully. So this makes everything very nice to consume in the component. I just inject the service and then in the template, I reference the value and error signals I created. So this allows me to easily display templates for the three different possible states in this scenario, loading, success, and error. Now setting up this structure isn't too bad, but it's quite a bit of boilerplate to write out, especially if we're going to be doing this multiple times. So what I did was create this little helper utility that I published as an NPM package. The basic idea is that it will take in any observable and then it will return two signals, a value signal and an error signal. Using this then becomes just a one liner like this. This creates an object that contains the value and error signals. And then we can use those in a similar way in the template. So one nice thing about this approach versus the original error stream approach with RxJS is that we don't need to worry about multiple subscriptions and mitigating that with share replay as we only ever subscribe to the source stream once with two signal. So if you want to try this out yourself, you can either just write out this helper yourself in your project or install the NPM package that I published. So keep in mind, this is just a rough prototype, but if there is ongoing interest in this approach, I will polish up the API a bit. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this approach or if you are planning something a bit different for error handling with signals. If you found this video interesting at all, please consider a like or subscribe before you go, and I hope to catch you in the next one.